David Beckham is criticizing a Daily Mail article about his version of child rearing. Now, apparently, the Daily Mail had some pretty harsh words for the Beckhams, especially after they found that their four-year-old daughter was using a pacifier. As ridiculous as this story is, it infuriates me when people pass judgment on other parents who aren't doing anything that actually harms their kids. Now, is using a pacifier at four recommended? No. Is it the end of the world if a four-year-old uses a pacifier? No. And does anyone really know the situation that the Beckhams are in or the type of day that they were having? No. And so I love the fact that he responded to this because I don't think he was just speaking about his personal experience. I think he's speaking to the experiences of so many parents out there who have to deal with criticism and others who tell them that they need to raise their children in one way or another. I don't even have kids in the story frustrates me. Experts warn David and Victoria Beckham's little girl may end up with speech or dental issues if she continues to use one, referring to the pacifier. David Beckham was not too pleased with this and he responded by saying, why do people feel they have the right to criticize a parent about their own children without having any facts? Everybody who has children knows that when they aren't feeling well or have a fever, you do what comforts them best, and most of the time, it's a pacifier. So those who criticize think twice about what you say about other people's children, because actually, you have no right to criticize me as a parent. So look, David Beckham is kind of bringing this topic to light, but I want to have a broader conversation about overzealous people out there who feel like it's their purpose to put their nose into other people's parenting habits. Mind your own freaking business. If someone is an imminent threat to their children, if someone is neglecting their children, if someone is doing something unlawful, then you have the right to report it, then you have the right to talk. But if this child is not in harm's way in any way, shape, or form, then move on with your life. Yeah, just shut your trap. I mean, let's be real, the Daily Mail, this was some clickbaity bullshit. Right, of course. Uh, anything to do with the Beckhams will get eyeballs on it. And they were like, yeah, let's let's make up a news story about little Harper's pacifier so, Can you, I use. mean, how stupid can <laughs> the story so be? It's so stupid. But like you said, it's a lightning rod for a larger issue around super judgy media and, and social media in particular around parenting. Yes. And, there is a real atmosphere. I think a lot of um, mothers and fathers and you know legal guardians out there in the world feel like under a harsh spotlight when it comes to their parenting because you know one wrong post or one wrong interaction and suddenly the entire world is coming down on you about your decision. And yeah. it's one thing again when we're talking about the welfare of a child and actual harm and uh, and you know sort of emotional, physical, otherwise. But when it just comes down to like different folks for different folks about how you yeah. raise your children, who in the hell thinks it's their right to get, get involved. involved in that? It's such an intimate situation. And it's not it just, blows my mind. It's not just the Daily Mail. I mean, I feel like a lot of mainstream mm -hmm. publications are guilty of doing this. Is helicopter parenting okay? What about attachment parenting? How long should you breastfeed? Oh my God, you're not breastfeeding as a mother? You're a terrible mom. Do you know how bad that is for your kid? Yeah. Just get out of people's business. It's it's one thing when they're the idea of having information out on the internet to help uh, improve your parent improve your parenting isn't the right way, but just augment and add to the amount of information you have out. I think that's great. You know, there's mommy blogs and daddy blogs and yes, all of that out yes. there. Putting your perspective, your spin out there in a non-judgmental non way is important, and I think most parents welcome it. But when it comes out as um, a criticism or admonishing others who don't follow suit, mm -hmm. That's when you're just like, come on, people. This is raising children has been, you know, happening for thousands of years, and it's yes. going. Everybody's going to have their uh, unique way of doing it. And also, I don't know what the purpose of a mother-in-law is if everyone else is criticizing <laughs> yeah, the way you're raising your kids. Let your mother-in-law mother deal with that shit. Now, I appreciate <laughs> that David Beckham pulled a red card on this one. Yeah, me and too. And was like, no, get out of here with that. Yes, he is a voice for many frustrated, disgruntled parents yes. out there who have to deal with this kind of criticism on a regular basis. Yeah, and little Harper's gonna be fine, y'all. Yeah. Okay, do you see her little top knot buns? She's so she, cute. Oh, she's adorable. She has all the resources in the world. Even if she does end up sucking a pacifier until she is 12 yeah. and she's got her teeth sticking all out of her head, somebody's gonna fix them. Someone's she's gonna, she's gonna be point. just fine. I don't That's think we have to worry about it uh, at all.